Hey guys, Blaze here is Phone Life, and today I'm going to be just giving a quick tip on the power and how to play it and uh, use its strengths because many of you have been asking me how to do it lately and I mean, I don't want to go through each one of you so might as well just sum it up on a big video like this. Alright, so let's get to the range point of the let's get to the range shooting part of the video. I'm so stupid, I dropped my binos. And then we're going to go on to the tactical. Alright, so from 10 meters, I'm, I mean, it's never really good to spray, but no matter who says it, everyone does it at one point. So you can spray and get lucky. I prefer to burst. Five shot bursts are the best, or maybe three, depending on how well you can control the recoil. See, like, without controlling, it does go everywhere, but it is a pretty sleek pattern on your body. I mean, it does cover everything, but if I aim my recoil... Shots are much right, uh, much tighter. Now, if I crouch, which 10 meters should be, well, this will be fine right here. There's no point to zoom in at 10 meters, obviously. Like the rate of fire was way too slow, as you saw. Any reinforced barrel does cut your rate of fire by one point. So, I know people are not going to be really happy about the reinforced barrel on my mods, but yes, I'm, I'm using it. Let's see. 20 meters and over. Which the 15 mark is in there also. You just pretty much tap what you tap your heart's content. That's pretty much a tight grouping. Crouching, even standing. You don't even have to zoom in. Check this out. The shots are pretty accurate. I mean, if that was someone on headshot level or just chest, he'd be dead. I mean, the shots are pretty accurate. Now, 20 meters plus, let's say, I mean, 20 meters plus, you know, it's fine. Let's say 30 meters up to, wow, well, this fucking bar is stopping me. Alright. 30 meters right here. You pretty much do not want to really confront something like this, maybe a bit further, let's say 35, 40. I mean, as you saw, I tap pretty well, but someone who's just new to the power will not be able to consistently do what I'm doing. So just try to avoid long fights like that anyways. I mean, the para is a mid-range to a close-range gun. It's not far. Leave that to the M4A ones, the XM8s, the MK3s, you know? Just keep the para mid to short range. It's much, much simpler. Now, another thing to do, I've seen many people in my clan and people that I've faced against that always say, what the fuck, bro, what the fuck, oh, how'd you kill me? It's because you're standing on stairs. The reason why is because when you're standing on stairs, let's say these ones, or even a ramp, your recoil increases and your bloom does also for the power up. Now, I don't know why it does this, it just does. So, I always try to avoid this. It will help you maximize your killing potential and it will also help you control your power much better. Now, let's say you're playing... Let's say... What is this? Fuck something. Okay. Why would you want to fight up here when you can, when you have a long way of going, you know? You can use here, you can go into the mansion, you can fight in the mansion, I mean the powers excel in the mansion, you can fight right here where you don't have too much room to, to shoot through. See, that's pretty good aim. You should have no reason to fight at a long, long hallway. Like I said, let the M4A ones do that. Your point of the para is to just get up there close to mid and blast them away. I mean, it's a AK on steroids, and even the AK... And remember, even the AK was really bad long range, so it's alright. And remember, the first power shot is extremely accurate. I mean, look at those fucking crosshairs, bro. Look at that. Boom. That's amazing. Always go for the headshot level. Now, let's see. My head would probably be up to he around here. So when you're walking, always keep your power at that headshot level. It'll help you a lot in getting your headshots. So let's say you're popping the corner, and you don't know that there's a guy there. You turn around, bam, 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 headshot. That's how I get those instant headshots that all of you guys freak out about. Now in this video, the reason why I don't have my scope, and probably many of you are going to ask, is because I am extremely Jewish on Blaze. I'm sorry for people who are Jewish, it's true, it is. I am very Jewish. I don't like spending money, so I would not have taken off the scope just to show this video because I know many of you guys do not like a scope. Now, there are plenty of mods that go good with the para, but the reason why I use Trig 
and uh, reinforced only is because ergonomic grip, yes, increases move shot, it makes it better, you know, makes your shots a bit more accurate. But honestly, the gun's accurate enough and it ruins your crouch shot, which crouch shot is a big part of the para. People who say they don't use crouch shot or they never crouch on, they just shoot ru while running, are usually macroing. Or they just get really fucking lucky. Crouch shot is a big part of the para. And the reason why I don't use a control stock, well, a stock in general, is because it decreases your moves. Um, well, it decreases. Yeah, well, it decreases your move shot. And move shot, although crouch shot is important on the power, move shot does help a lot. I mean, you know, that does help. So having those two elements taken away just makes the gun, in my opinion, overall better than someone who just has an ergo or someone who just has a stock. Now, there are other mods that go very well with the para that are pretty much no barrel. And yes, you heard me correctly, no barrel. I found this strange too when I did it. So it's no barrel, you get the trigger, you get the ergo, and you get the control stock. Now, you're gonna, now you're probably just saying I could just contradict myself, which, yeah, technically I did. But these mods are just too stupid to pass up. Now, I'm gonna exit the game, show you the mods that I had on, and then put the mods that I just finished talking about. And you'll see a bigger difference in my spray pattern and bursting pattern. Just look from here. Okay. That's my spray pattern uncontrolled. This is my burst pattern uncontrolled. Alright. Remember those groupings. So now let's go back and get those mods that I've been talking about. Alright. Now let me just go back to the practice channel because my AVA did crash. Sadly, yes, it does crash on a fucking 1.2k computer, sadly. But I ran the password, so when it interrupts me. I know I used Fox something, I'm going to use Canon, it makes no difference, it's just mods. Alright, so I wasn't lying, these are my mods. Now, what I'm going to do is get rid of Reinforced Barrel. Grab the grip. And the stock. Now, people are going to say this is stupid mods, they're weak. Okay, well... They're pretty much a Spetsnaz barrel, and many people use Spetsnaz, and they're pretty much a long-range barrel. So I don't see where the complaining is at. Yeah, long-range you get a bit more damage further away, but you lose one stability. Now, if you're not that good with the para, fuck the barrels. It's okay. It's still a strong gun. You guys were using M4A1s, MK3s, Sockles. That's not 48 damage, still. Even with a, without a barrel, it's 48 damage. Now, does a barrel seem that important? To me, yeah, I use reinforced, yeah, I see, it does help, but it doesn't really make a difference. I've used other barrels besides reinforced, and I haven't noticed a big difference. I just use reinforced because it feels easier on me from all the barrels. I don't know why, but it does. Alright, so, we're going to start. Let's give it a sec to load in. Alright guys, so I have the mods right now that I, I just finished talking about, with no barrel. So, I uh, nah, fucked up, I don't need that. Anyway, so, let's see the spray pattern overall. This is about 10 meters. So, honestly, it did give a tighter grouping around here, and I'll fuck those 3-4 bullets that went everywhere. This is the first shot that you need. Now, now I'm gonna burst, okay, from far. Crouching. way more accurate, right, than the other bursts that I've did in my other videos. Even standing up, check this out. That's way accurate, isn't it? Now yeah, this is coming as a surprise, and I couldn't believe it either. It's almost like I'm fucking macroing, isn't it? It's retarded. And yes. And for those who are you watching that don't know me, no, I don't macro. Anyways, that's just, an that's another story. Look, even from far. 
Look at that. Wow. All right. You can give an M4A1 to fucking run for its money there, can't you? Now check this out. I know I generally don't go here, but I mean... I just want to show you what you can do. That's pretty good, and... That's just moderate tapping, too. That was a bit faster. That's pretty good. And it's very, very stable. The mods are pretty cheap also. They don't run out as fast. And, I mean, it just makes the power much better. It's still 48 damage. Look, you could even you could even turn corner and spray. Check that out. They're really... <laughs> they're really, really good mods. They're, they're solid. I think they're even more accurate on the first shot than my other mods, too. Well, there's less recoil. As you see... Remember long on the other video? Well, the other video, the other clip. My mouse would probably go up here. Now it's just going like maybe a centimeter higher. That means better aimed shot for headshots. It is more accurate, more stable without the barrel. So that is pretty much an easier way of using the para. So for those of you who say, oh, the para sucks, I don't want to use it. No, give it a try, but with these mods, you'll see a difference guaranteed. Anyways, blazed out. I'll see you guys in game. Let's kick some ass together.